Let me tell you the story of how a communication gap almost killed nine of us in Serbia. So we were driving on a mountain in Serbia and Sanjay drove us all the way up and while going down I thought I'll drive the car. It was a van, a nine-seater van. So I got inside the van and I felt something was wrong and before I could talk about it I just mentioned that the steering feels a little hard. Sanjay interrupted me and he said it's fine I'll get used to the hard steering once I start driving the car. And the moment I turned on the engine, I started driving, every single light in the dashboard went up, it went red. I could not move the steering even an inch, I could not put on the brakes, the car was going down, the traffic was coming <laughs> on both the ways and we were supposed to take a left and the mountain, the, uh, the steep mountain, I mean we could fall down from the mountain or our right. And at that moment, I got really worried because there were eight more people in the van with me, people with families and I, and I brought them to Serbia. So luckily for us, we turned on the double indicator and it was a manual handbrake in that van. We started pulling the handbrake up and we were able to stop the car just on the side of the road. So the moral of the story is, let the person finish their sentences.